Hey, it's Frank here with 4D Honeybee. Just a very quick visit to uh, observe this hive and to give it some more food. Uh, it's been two days since the last visit. I'm definitely not going to open up the hive at all. I'll open the top box, which is where the feeder is, and just make sure they're uh, continuing to use those resources. So I'm also just going to observe the front of the hive for activity. It's a little less than I would like to see, to be honest with you here. Let's see if it can set you up for a close-up view. Bees are definitely coming and going, but it'd be nice to see more bees. Now, it is possible that there's not as much bee activity there at the front of the hive because they're being fed, so a lot of the bees don't have to go anywhere to get the food that they need, but would definitely like to see more bee activity there. They're definitely using the entrance I made for them, though. You can see the hole that I cut there. So let's see if they're taking food. Not much activity at the entrance at all. Okay, let's get them some more food. See if I can do this with one hand. Some ants on the outside of the feeder, that's to be expected. Especially down there where I drop some some sugar water. That would be really nice to see a bunch of bees up inside the feeder here. Okay, that's good. They're definitely there. Still taking food. Looks like we have a couple of dead bees there. One, two, three, four. Very odd. I don't know why we're getting mortality with this feeder. It shouldn't be happening. few more over here too. Maybe six, seven, seven dead bees. That's seven too many unfortunately. I don't know why that's happening. So there is still a decent amount of feed in there but I'm gonna add what I've got in this jar just so that I know they're okay till the weekend. lid back on. You can hear them buzzing around in there. Get this lid back on. Let's see if I can do this without sliding it down. Pollen coming in. I love those little guard bees just sitting there, just peeking their head out. Meeting everybody coming in with nice pollen. Alright, so that's it for this quick little visit. 
Uh, I know the queen is in there. Thank you to the people that spotted her in my last video, because I couldn't. And uh, so we know the queen's in there. We know where they're bringing in pollen. We know they have pollen, and we know they have sugar water. So uh, would be nice to see more activity at the front of the hive. It's a gorgeous day out here. Um, but if uh, the toughest part about beekeeping sometimes is just being patient, right? Especially at the beginning. You want to see your hives exploding right off the bat, and that hive will. It's got two and a half frames of full of brood, and the queen is laying. So within a week or two, it's going to be going really well. So just got to be patient. Don't overwork the bees. Make sure they have food. Make sure they have everything they need. Then just let them go. And thanks for joining me at 4D Honeybee.